always heart, always humor, and always adventure. And Don was a little shaky, but the story artist said, no, 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 let's try, let's try. Was macht die Präsidentin in unserem Vorgarten? Unsere gesamte Welt ist in großer Gefahr. Ich will, dass du mitkommst. Auf eine Expedition. Ich bin nicht mein Vater. Er war der Entdecker. Ich weiß, du warst noch ein Kind, als er verschwunden ist. Aber jetzt bist du alles, was wir haben. Mr. Clayton, ich bin ein riesiger Fan oh, danke. ihres Vaters. Correct me if I'm mistaken, but I believe uh, you've been involved in a lot of documentaries lately as well. Yeah, I'm very fortunate. I've been able to work also on the Disney Nature label, so I've been working, uh, doing a lot of that. Yeah, so how, how did this uh, come as an advantage in, in, in evolving or developing Strange World? Strange World. Well, you know, because um, I've been working on these nature documentaries, uh, the concept of wildlife is something that has become very, very interesting to me. And so within the creation of a brand new kind of wildlife, uh, it, you know, it was kind of like a, a little expedition into a world that, uh, you know, actually in my mind exists, you know? <laughs> yeah, definitely. You can see that the world is extraordinary. That's from what we've seen just now in the screening. Oh, it looks great. It looks yeah. really great. Yeah. And, um, well, Disney movies often address morale and value-based or even social topics. You've mentioned that in the screening. But um, what can we expect further in the story? What is the main, yeah, take? I think, I think that Disney films, first and primary, are about entertaining the audience. I think, you know, always heart, always humor, and always adventure. And so this is an adventure film, yes, it is. but it has a lot of heart and a lot of humor. And, um, you know, I think that this, any, any theme that is behind the story is something that the audience will feel. And it really is a wonderful story about legacy and handing a future to generations to come. That's what I wohl auch mine. Hey, come, drüber. Uh, über die, nein, um die rum. Yeah. So, um, Strange World is a very specific topic, like, um, well, theme. And um, do you believe that we can um, somehow put it together with the world we are living in currently, like with the pandemic and politics and stuff that's going on? Is it, isn't it like we are ourselves living in a strange world? I, yeah, I would say we are living in a strange <laughs> world, but I do know that if people pull together and work together, amazing things happen. You know, on an animated film, I've got 400 artists working on one piece, one artist, artistic piece. And, you know, if everyone has a vision that is shared, uh, miraculous things can get done. Well, that's, that's a lot of people working on, yeah. on such a movie. Um, did you occur any um, difficulties in creating this world? I mean, it's, it's new. There is nothing, um, nothing that it's um, from, like it's not from comics or anything right, else. Right, right. It's completely new. Well, I think the, the, probably the most difficult thing was paring down the ideas. <laughs> we have so many incredible artists that work on these films that the, art, that the ideas just kept coming. And so it was really up to my director, Don Hall, to figure out, okay, how are we gonna tell this story? And with all this material that's around, what can we do to kind of hone and make sure that we're getting, you know, we're getting the best of everything. So he's, I think he's done a magnificent job. And I, you know, I've worked with Don on multiple films and I love working with him. Oh, that's great to hear. Wir befinden uns eindeutig auf unbekannten Terrain. Ah! Hallo, Sie verstehen wahrscheinlich kein Wort von dem, was ich sage. Aber natürlich verstehe ich dich. Hm? Dad? 
Dad? Großvater? Ich bin Großvater. Um, where did the inspiration for the, um, let's say, creatures come from? They look very bizarre, but they somehow look also <laughs> like from the ocean, from the sea. Somehow. Well, some look like they're from the ocean. Some look like they're, you know, microscopic. Some, some inspiration, uh, one, one character was inspired by sausage. Sausage? So, sausage, yes, exactly. There, uh, one of the artists came in and said, what if we had a character that was kind of shaped like this? And boy, the next thing we knew, the visual development team was kind of putting together different visions and whatnot. So the inspiration with this film is great because it can come from anywhere. Well, it sounds like this. <laughs> so like, um, how, how does someone nailed down on ideas and how do you um, like do the final decision because there's a lot of things as you said. Well fortunately when you're working with a great director it makes it easy <laughs> because Don, uh, Don has a very very decisive approach. Uh, he doesn't let things float for a long time but he also realizes as we're moving down the road and, and pulling the film together if he's made a mistake, we'll change it, you know? Uh, I think the creative process is one in which you continue down a path until you realize, well, that might be a dead end. So you make a right or a left turn and, and move on. I like left turns the best. Was <laughs> ist das für ein Ort? Die Klippen sind lebendig. Und das Wasser löst dir das Fleisch von deinen Knochen. Was ist das denn? Ah, der ist ja so süß. Den will ich als Plüschi haben. All right. Um, coming back to one specific character, um, Legend. Yeah. He's very specific. He has only three legs. And yeah. um, what's the reason behind it? Why did you create him like this? Well, it was so funny because he was an afterthought in terms of characters. We, we, you know, we were moving forward. The world was so interesting. And Bernie Mattinson, who I talked a little bit about in our presentation, Bernie was, uh, you know, a, a solid advocate that we needed something to ground ourselves. And Don was a little shaky, but the story artist said, no, 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 let's try, let's try. And uh, amazingly, everyone started drawing a different type of dog. Uh, and then at one point, someone said, you know, what if he had three legs? And that was the only thing that, and then the next thing we knew, we had a lot of three-legged dogs up on stage. <laughs> And you know, tripod, we call them tripods in the States. They're, it's, they're amazing just in terms of physically how they move. And for an animator, doing a tripod is something really special. Thank you, uh, sounds, sounds interesting, definitely. The movie posters somehow resembles a bit of movies we've seen before, kind of Indiana Jones styled. And um, do you did you adapt anything from previous work? And how is Strange World fitting into the this the big Disney universe? Well, one of the biggest influences that Don had when he was putting this together was going back to those great adventure stories from the turn of the 19th to the 20th century with Jules Verne. H.G. Wells and um, uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs, uh, just amazing pieces of literature. I mean, this is kind of the invention of the adventure story in a, in a way. Uh, and then those films influenced so many films from the 50s. And then they kind of came again in the 70s and 80s with you know Raiders of the Lost Ark. So really the root comes down uh, in many ways. I think Don would say Jules Verne was, uh, was a big influence on him. Now that you're saying that, when you said it in the screening, I also thought about Jules Verne. We, we had to read it back days as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's you have very to read yeah. Yes, it's a, it's a classic and it's definitely, yeah, you can see some, yeah. some vibes in the, in the screening we've seen. No, absolutely. Du kriegst das hin, Ethan. Das liegt dir doch im Blut. Einfach mutig sein. Um, coming, coming to the cast, like we have Jake Gyllenhaal voicing uh, Sir Jack Lade. Um, right. Did you know from the beginning you wanted to have Jake, or how did the casting process go? 
You know, we have an amazing casting director named Jamie Roberts, and Jamie always comes with some great ideas. Don had some ideas, and we sat down and discussed, and as soon as Jake came up, it was like, oh, he's perfect. He's perfect. He was the, you know, the right age. He, you know, is at a, a, a point in his career where he's, uh, he's done one animated film before, and so we thought, okay, maybe he would be interested in doing this. And when, when we sat down with him, he got so excited about it, and he loved the story so much. It was just, you know, he's, he's been a great collaborator uh, through this whole process. It's nice to hear. And um, you have, as you said before, you've worked with Don Hall a lot before. And um, how is it to go back to, uh, to start an origin story, to, to create something new? You know, it's always just, you know, creating a story is so much fun. It really is. And, you know, you understand that it's a journey. And you, interestingly enough, I think on this film more so than Big Hero 6, we always knew what the theme was going to be. With Big Hero 6, we were kind of exploring different themes until we finally came upon uh, the, that solid kind of direction that we were going to use. We knew that we always wanted to tell a story about what we're going to leave kids and future generations. That was always kind of the driving force behind the film. Uh, so things, yeah, listen, I would say 25% uh, of ideas end up on the floor, but the remaining ideas end up making your movie. And uh, it, it, we, always, we always kind of knew where we wanted to go. That's great. Did you, do you have anything else planned or do you, do you want to do more in this universe of Strange World? You know, when you're making a film, uh, getting that film out is the primary thing you think of, right? We've been working on this since 2018. That's and um, we'll think about that in the future. <laughs> One of the things I love about working with Don is that he loves to create new ideas and he doesn't do sequels. So it'll be interesting to see where we go. I mean, fortunately, I just was able to work on a little uh, television uh, series for Disney Plus called Baymax, mm -hmm. which is based on Big yeah. Hero 6. So who knows what might happen. Maybe there'll be uh, something on Disney Plus subsequently, but we'll find out. Disney's Strange World.